gas. Let me fix my shirt. My shirt is dripping. My shirt is drippy looking. Peace and love to all the beautiful people out there. Welcome to the unapologetic. No, man. So today, currently, I'm on 95 going south. I'm in Philly. I'm about to head to Delaware, family. I'm about to head to Delaware. And right now, as you can see, I'm driving with no hands, family. No hands. I'm using AI technology in this electric vehicle to drive with no hands. And I'm going to show you how right now. Like, I'm kind of like in traffic a little bit. It's trafficking. It's real traffic here, as you can see. It's very beautiful out here. Actually, it's 70 degrees today, Fahrenheit. The dew points around like, uh, eh, eh, around like 64, 65 degrees. Very nice day today, family. Humidity is not too bad. Um, I say it's around like 48%. You know, that's pretty decent. It's a beautiful day out here today, and it's mid-November, so we're lucky right now to be having this good weather. But anyway, as you can see, I'm in traffic, and I have what you call the highway driving assistant on right now, family. I have it on right now. And I set it at 49. I'm gonna put my hand on the wheel because you're really supposed to keep your hand on the wheel. But I'm gonna show you everything, family. So I have my highway driving assistant set at 49 miles an hour. And as you can see, we're going 24 miles an hour and we're actually driving by ourselves because I have no hands on the steering wheel, as you can see. And you can see as I'm slowing down, you're looking at it right now, real time, me slowing down. You know, I don't have to touch the wheel. I'm not even on the, uh, as you can see, my feet are not even on the brake. They're not even on the brake. As you can see, my feet is not on the brake or gas. And I'm driving in traffic, family. This is the best feature ever with electric and hybrid vehicles. I'm not sure if you could do this with um, regular gas vehicles. I'm not sure, but I know with this electric vehicle, you can put it in highway driving assistance, which you don't have to touch nothing, family. But well, you're supposed to keep your hands on the steering wheel, though. Don't, don't get that twisted. You're supposed to keep your hands on the steering wheel. But it makes driving in traffic so easy. Let me show you how to do this. Let's see. I'm driving, driving. I'm stuck in traffic. All right, so I'm going to give you a bigger view. All right, this is the situation. This is me manually driving, my hands on the steering wheel. I'm manually doing this, family. I'm manually driving right now, which is something I really do at this moment. But anyway, all right, so when you want to set your highway driving assistant, the first thing you want to do is assess the speed that traffic is going. Traffic is going around, yeah, like 30 miles an hour right now. I would say traffic is going, as you can see, everybody is pretty much like stuck here. You know, now the left lane is actually going faster than this lane. But anyway, we're going to set it. So we're going around 31 miles an hour. All right, that's cool. So what I've learned is when you set it at a speed that's a little higher, it's a little better. You continue to go with the flow of traffic if it starts to speed up even more. Now we're going real slow. All right, so the first thing you do this button right here. This button right here is the highway driving assistant button, family. The HDA, okay? And this button, it keeps the wheel and the steering wheel, it keeps everything on, in between the lines. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do, we're actually speeding up right now. All right, so the speed limit is 55 miles an hour, so I'm gonna set it at 55. Bam, all right. I set it at 55 miles an hour. And everything works automatically. I press this button right here and I set it. So we're going and I'm going 55 miles an hour. Now, if I want to go a little over the speed limit, which I never do because I always drive legally and things, but you press this button up and you see that, you see how the uh, speed is actually going up here. This is where I set it on, it's on 59 right now. They say you get like a good five mile an hour overage, if it, which is good, all right? So my hand is on the steering wheel and I set it at around 60 and I'm good, and I'm good. And my car is gonna actually stay behind whatever car is in front of me. And this, if that car starts slowing down, then my car is gonna start slowing down. If that car starts speeding up, my car is gonna only go to around 60 miles an hour and then it's, that's it because I set it at that. 
you know, and I use this to manually go up. And you can also go manually down with this if you want to want to go at a slower speed. If I want to go to 59, 58, then I could go slower and things of that kind of a nature, as you can see. But um, right now, the flow of traffic looks like it's going around 60 miles an hour. So um, I'm going to set mine to 60. All right. And it's easy like that. Driving with no hands, as you can see, it's easy like that. Very easy to do the highway driving assistance. You don't even have to like put your foot on the brake. You don't have to put your foot on the gas or anything. Now, when you wanna stop this and be like, yo, I don't want this anymore. What you have to do when you want this whole situation to stop is either hit the brake and it'll cut off or you hit this button right here. The same button you cut it on with is the same button you can cut it off with, bam. There, I cut it off. As you can see, everything went off. Now I'm driving manually. Now I'm driving manually. Use the artificial intelligence for the electric vehicles. And I believe a lot of the electric vehicles have these same functions. I drove a Bolt before. I think that's a Chevy Bolt. I drove one of those before. It had pretty much the same kind of thing. You do it the same kind of way. That's it, family. Thank y'all for tuning in. To the Apollo Nope. Man, we were on a pilot. Shady.